welcome to History Pod. On the 4th of March 1890, the fourth bridge in Scotland, which featured the longest cantilever bridge span in the world at the time, was opened by the future King Edward VII. The fourth bridge stretches almost two and a half kilometres across the Firth of Forth, a large estuary area to the west of Edinburgh. The bridge, which features two main spans of over 500 metres each, continues to operate as a vital rail link between Fife and the Lothians. The fourth bridge was designed by the English engineers Sir John Fowler and Sir Benjamin Baker using the cantilever principle in which a central span is supported by the tension and compression of supporting arms that are only anchored at one end. Before construction even began on the bridge in 1882, the contractor Sir William Arrell and co landscaped the shores on each side. They then constructed buildings such as workshops, as well as huts and houses to accommodate the more than 4,500 workers who were due to work on the bridge. Of these, 73 are known to have died in work-related accidents. The bridge was finally completed in December 1889 and was tested the following month to ensure that it operated properly under load. Satisfied that the bridge was safe, the chairman of the various railway companies involved in funding the £3.2 million construction travelled over it several times on the 24th of February. A week later, the future King Edward VII formally opened the bridge and secured the last of six and a half million rivets. The bridge continues to carry more than 200 trains a day and is an important symbol of Scotland. Thanks to the development of a new coating, it's also now no longer necessary to continuously paint the bridge, a task that can take up to ten years to complete. Thank you.